Canadian film industry, a bit of industry talk if you don't mind. You've Ooh. done one or two Canadian films in the past, so I think you've got a little bit of experience on the subject matter. Um, could you tell me, what are your thoughts, where do you think it's awesome, or where do you think it's broken and needs fixing? I know it's a very general question, but I like, I like to find out what people's first thoughts are on it. Uh, well, I think, you know, uh, having been in this business for a good 20 years now, I think you know, it's clear we, you know, we know people know how to make their movies. And I think uh, in terms of what's working is, you know, some very talented, you know, designers and uh, directors and writers and that sort of thing. I think, you know, one of the things that uh, is beginning to happen more and more and will continue to evolve will be, um, you know, mythologizing our actors, you know, and making our actors feel having that same kind of, uh, you know, that cachet to the public of like, oh, I want to see, I've heard about that guy or heard about this young girl. And there's a terrific talent base here of, you know, I'm talking about the, you know, starting with the younger actresses and actors and sort of really embracing them and in a big way, in a, in not only just an industry way, but in a media way and in a financing way where, you know, you put them forward. It used to be in this country where you couldn't set a film in Toronto or Montreal or Vancouver because it wasn't done and that wasn't sort of normal because uh, we don't, you set it in Chicago, you set it in New York and now that's changed where, you know, things like the F word is like clearly in Toronto or Cronenberg's uh, movie is clearly in Toronto, you know, these sorts of things where the cities are now becoming Goon was in Winnipeg. <laughs> you know what I mean? And yeah. you, so by doing those things, those cities, you're adding to those cities mythologies. You know, in Winnipeg, you think of Guy Madden, you think of John Page, you think of Goon, you think of Less Than Kind, the television yeah, series. series. You know, so the, the cities gain mythology the way New York gains mythology or, or New Orleans gains mythology. So, you know, we've crossed that line. And now I think, you know, then maybe the next hurdle is like, well, let's, let's, not be afraid to put our, you know, young, talented actors right up front and center and promote the shit out of them, you know, put them on the billboards and put them on the trailers. And uh, it really is that simple, I think. You know, it's when you're casting a movie, uh, you tend, you know, people go to the big agencies and they, here's our big list. And because they're associated with UTA or CAA, there's already this sort of shine on them, whether you know them or not. But the, the, the promise there is that, well, you will come to know them if you, if you don't know them there. So that's my big uh, <clears throat> thing these days is that uh, I work a lot in television, so I meet a lot of the actors. You know, they're young, up-and-coming ones, the veteran actors. And people cross over back and forth between television, film, theater. And I know, you know, you know that the talent is there. And so it's, you know, the... The industry, what I you know, giving them propulsion, giving them visibility, and you're, I mean, just the fact that we're talking here and you're helping to kind of uh, send that message out, I think, is fantastic. Cool, thank you. Well, yeah. I do my part. It's small, really. It's a small part. Well, I see the poster behind you. Behind you there. Can you just show me there, so I can see the whole thing? That's what yeah. it's all about. Yeah. There we go. <laughs>